Hello everyone. Good morning to all. Hope you are ready with your sheet, pencil and all your instruments. So, let's start the problem. Draw an isometric projection of a vertical regular pentagonal pyramid resting centrally having one base edge away from the observer parallel to VP on top of a vertical cylinder. Side of the pentagon 32 mm, height of pyramid 50 mm, diameter of cylinder 76 mm and height of cylinder 40 mm. Here, first side of the combination is a cylinder, a vertical cylinder. A vertical cylinder means the cylinder is resting on its circular base and the axis on its axis is vertical. So first we are going to project the cylinder here and then we will decide how to place the second solid pentagonal pyramid on that cylinder. So first is cylinder. Now we know that for projecting a cylinder first we have to draw the helping figure and the size of helping figure or helping square for cylinder will be the dia, dia of cylinder. So the size of square is 76. So taking ISO 76 or marking ISO 76 along first and second ISO axis, then drawing lines parallel to first and second ISO axis from these two ends. From first and then from second point. Now, draw an isometric projection of first base, circular base here. First, we have to mark all midpoints of the helping square. Second step. Diagonal longer or larger one. Third step from midpoint to opposite corner. So, right lines from midpoint to opposite corner again for second set. These are midpoints. So, drawing lines from midpoint to opposite corner now. We have four centers, first center, second center, third center and fourth center. Starting from first center, this is my first center, this much as first radius or first star from this point to this point, drawing first part of ellipse, second center and this is second radius, third center, this will be the radius and fourth center and this is fourth radius. So, this is ready. Now, the height, given height for the cylinder is 40. So, we have to draw lines parallel to third isometric axis from all corners. So, drawing lines parallel to third or vertical ISO axis for length of 40 mm and please take ISO 40 ISO 40 ISO 40 parallel to third ISO and then draw lines parallel to first and second ISO axis. Again, the process is same. Next, we have to mark all four midpoints of the sides of the square. These are midpoint. Next, diagonal 
and then from midpoint to opposite corner and from midpoint to opposite corner for the last set. Again, we will get all the four centers of rotation. Starting from first center, this is the radius. Second center, this is second radius. Third center, this is third radius. And for fourth center, this will be the radius. Now, from extreme point on the diagonal end, from the corresponding extreme point to the diagonal, from this point to that point, this is the generator. This is the right center. So, this is the first solid, a cylinder which is resting on HP on its circular base and axis is vertical. Now we have to project second solid, a pentagonal pyramid on the top circular face of the projected circle. Now for pentagonal pyramid, pentagonal pyramid is resting centrally. Centrally means center of the pentagon will be on the center of the circle. So both centers will be on a vertical line. Having one base edge away from observer parallel to VP. So an edge of its base, edge of pentagon base is away from observer. So this base side is parallel to VP and away from observer. So from observer's direction, this side is away from observer or you can say that the base side which is parallel to VP is near to VP also. So now we have to project this pentagonal base on the circular base or on the top circular base of the cylinder. So here we have to draw the helping figure first, helping figure for the pentagon of size 32. So drawing helping figure, it's a regular pentagon of size 32. Now, drawing lines parallel to first base side or reference base side and perpendicular to the first base side, passing through all the corners of the pentagon. So these two lines are parallel and these are perpendicular lines. We have to find more helping figure to project size thirty two. So ISO thirty two. Here it is. Y. This one is X. Now we have to locate the center for finding center. Bisect any two angles or simply draw lines from the corner to opposite midpoint, from corner to opposite midpoint, common intersection point is the center. So by dash from the reference space. Now, from the center, drawing center line. Parallel to and perpendicular. 
perpendicular to first base sign. Now we have the dimensions, dimensions of the helping figure, which we have to mark from the center of the pentagonal base. The first is we have to project this helping figure along with the center and the center is to be projected here on the center of the circular base. So from the center of the circular base drawing central lines parallel to first and second ISO axis. Parallel to first ISO axis and parallel to second ISO axis. So this is the center, and then marking limits of the helping figure or marking points of intersection. These are points of intersection of the helping box on the central lines. So this will be the distance. This will be the distance which we have to mark here along first ISO axis. And this is the distance for second ISO axis. So these are corresponding distances. Now we have all four points of the helping figure. So from all these points, we are required to draw lines parallel to and perpendicular to first and second iso axis. So parallel to first iso axis from the point on the second iso axis. And then parallel to second ISO axis from the end limits of first ISO axis. Now, last we have to project or we have to mark all these corner points of the pentagonal base on the helping figure. See, points are A, B, this one is C, D and E. First corner, A. On the first corner of the helping box, this is the distance. This is the distance. From the same corner, D. From the same corner, this is B. Again, from second corner, C. C. From the fourth corner, D. And from the final corner, E. This is E. Now we have A, B, C, D, E. A, B, C, D, E. e. All five corners of the pentagonal base. Last, from the pentagonal center, from the center of the pentagonal base, we have to draw the vertical axis or height of the pentagon. So, length of the axis is 15 mm, starting from the center drawing line parallel to third or vertical iso axis and the length or height is 50 so we have to take iso 50 and marking apex point now for the pentagonal pyramid when the side when the first base side is parallel to vertical plane, these are visible generators showing 
all visible generators first generator second generator third generator and fourth generator these are visible generators the next base sides visible base sides and then part of cylinder visible part of cylinder so for upper base this portion is visible and for lower base only frontal portion is visible right now showing solid axis for cylinder also so this is the center for the pentagonal base and the same point is the center of the upper circular plane and next center or center of the bottom base this and from the bottom base to top base this is solid axis for cylinder and here the vertical axis for both the solids for cylinder and for pyramid is common axis so this is final projection the last dimensioning showing diameter diameter of the this cylinder dia 76 height of the slab or height of cylinder is Side of pentagon. This is the side. Extending lines parallel to second isoaxis. Thirty-two and axis. Axis length of the height, length of the axis height is 50 mm. And last direction of observation parallel to second iso axis, preferably from the center. So, this is the combination figure. The pentagonal pyramid is resting centrally, is resting centrally, having one base edge away from observer this is the edge this is the base edge which is away from observer and parallel to vp parallel to vp on top of a vertical cylinder on top means this is resting this pentagonal pyramid is resting on the upper circular plane of the cylinder which is vertical so the second solid is vertical i will request you to please draw this problem on your sheet and if you have any problem, any doubt regarding this problem or regarding any other problem, please write your comments on the comment section. Thank you.